Werewolves usually get a pretty bad rap. I mean, in movies and stuff, they're always ripping people limb from limb and causing all sorts of trouble. Me? I'm nothing like that. I help people. I'm a good werewolf. Fluffy? Fluffy? Fluffy, where are you, Fluffy? Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. Yes, can I help you with something? Yes, my kit is stuck in a tree. Oh. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> hold on, I'll get him down for you. <clears throat> hey there, little girl. How you doing? Yeah, we'll get you back. Don't worry. I'll give you to your mommy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here you go, ma'am. Safe and sound. There you are. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're such a kind young man. <laughs> Why don't you let me take your arm and walk you home? How's that sound? Yeah? I have seen enough. Now, Tony Dawkins is obviously kind, generous, and heroic. And it makes me sick. We have been watching this werewolf for months now. And our mission is clear. We must show him the ways of evil. I know. I'll make him a welcome basket with muffins and fruit. <sighs> no. Evil muffins. Uh, and fruit? He would be a valuable asset. He is young. Powerful. Now, if we could reprogram this werewolf into the bloodthirsty creature he should be, then the syndicate would be invincible. You, Brother Ambrose, you, you shall recruit this werewolf into the syndicate. Don't worry, leader. Tommy Dawkins will join us, or he'll die. I used to own this town. Now it's all turned upside down. I wish I could figure out. Do you think it's just a fake? was. Maybe I was just paranoid. But have you ever had the feeling that, that someone was watching you? Oh. Tommy Dawkins. Wanna dance? Sure. So, um, did you hear about that werewolf sighting last night? Really? Yeah. I wonder who that wolf could be. I was at home last night taking a nice, hot, bubble bath, so that rules me out. Where were you last night? Oh, uh, well, I, I was also taking a bubble bath. Tommy, I know you're lying. It's because of the way my left eye twitches. No, it's because you're the world's most pathetic liar. Look, I know you're the werewolf. What? Let's review. You always disappear when the wolf shows up, and you reappear when the wolf's gone, but you're never together at the same time. You do the math. Well, that doesn't mean a thing. Take Clark Kent and Superman. They're never at the same place at the same time. That's because Clark Kent is Superman. Oh, right. Well, anyways, werewolves are always evil and scary. And I'm obviously cute and cuddly. So whatever you're saying doesn't make any sense. Look, I gotta go, but uh, thanks for the dance. Okay, so Lori was pretty suspicious. But, you know, things didn't seem that bad. This is bad. This is real bad. Why can't I just tell her she's on to me anyway? Besides, I got a hunch that she's not going to think the werewolf's all that weird. That weird? Tommy, I, you're an abomination of all that's natural. No offense. Look, what if your hunch is wrong and she does think it's weird? 
and then she tells two friends, and then they, they tell, tell two friends, friends and, and so on, and so on. Yeah, but you didn't tell anybody. Well, luckily for you, you're my only friend. It's kind of sad. Yes, yes it is. Enough about me. Look, Lori may be an enchanting peach with a seemingly open mind, but who knows? She might give you up to some government lab. No, not Lori. Tommy, whoever catches your furry little butt is gonna have instant fame and fortune. You know, you don't think Lori might find that a little tempting? Yeah, I guess, maybe. <sighs> we need her to forget all about the werewolf. I've got it. What? Using the power of hypnosis, I'll delete all werewolf thoughts from her mind. Oh, come on. Tommy, hypnosis is a well-established psycho-intellectual tool, which can also be used to make people bark like seals. <clears throat> I don't know. It sounds a little too... Dicey. Picture this. Under cover of darkness, I'll perform a little hypnotic ambush. Before she knows it, she'll be under my spell. I just can't let her know it's me. Which is why I'll be in disguise. <laughs> what are you doing with the leotard? Six months of contemporary mime. <laughs> I put it behind me. And for the record, it's a unitard. I don't know. You really think it's gonna work? Tommy, listen to me. Listen to me. You gotta trust me, buddy, okay? I'll take care of everything. There's a full moon out tonight, so you stay inside and I'll handle Lori. Martin's plan sounded just a bit crazy. But what the heck? It was the only one we had to keep Lori from finding out my secret. Hey, Dave. Jeez. Little bro, the Partridge family is on. Oh. <laughs> Danny's getting that mischievous look in his eyes. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, someone dropped this off for you. Oh, yeah? Shit, we go up here. <laughs> Dean, who brought this? Was it a hot girl? <laughs> sure. If you like girls with thick arms, thick legs, and an Adam's apple. It was a guy? What did he look like? <sighs> you know, I was kind of busy at the time. Let me see, uh... He had Luke Perry's eyes, the Everman build of an Ian Zarian, and Tori Spelling's old nose. <laughs> Hello? Merton, somebody brought a note by my house. Listen to this. <clears throat> I know who you are. Meet me at the gazebo at 6. If you want your secret to be safe, come alone. It's a trap, Tommy. It's just Lori trying to trick you. Yeah, but it's not her style. Besides, Dean said it was a guy who dropped it by. Maybe she told someone, look, I'll go to the park and check it out. But it says come alone. He's going to blow my secret. Tommy, you can't go. There's a full moon tonight. All right, just let me handle it. No, it's too risky. I'm going. Sorry, bro. Clear the line. I got an emergency. Listen, I got to go, but don't worry. I'll be careful, okay? Tommy, don't! You... Ah. Puzzleville Cable, it's Dean. I just lost 37. No, you calm down. You're not the one who's been falsely accused of shoplifting. No, not me, Danny Partridge! Look, just get me your supervisor. Now! I knew I was taking a big chance going to the park, what with the full moon and all. But if somebody knew my secret, I had to find out who. Well, look who's here. Lori. Hey, wolf boy. Not this again. How many times do we have to do this? I am not a werewolf. Come on, Tommy, it all adds up. Okay, all right. So let's say that I am the werewolf. <laughs> Aren't you afraid that I'll hurt you? Look, I know the Pleasantville werewolf is good. Are you sure about that? What are you doing, Lori? You and I are just gonna sit here until the moon comes up. No, Lori, listen. This is so stupid. Look, listen, you gotta let me go. Seriously. Sorry, Tommy. Tonight, I prove once and for all that you're the dog-faced uh. boy. Looking for a werewolf, little girl? Did you see him? Yes, 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 I did. Is he? Now, do you believe me I'm not the werewolf? Oh, I'm so sorry, Tommy. Come on, we have to follow him. No, you can't. Well, I mean, he could be dangerous. Hello, he's not dangerous. He saved my life twice. <laughs> you still can't go follow him. Oh, well, who's going to stop me? Well, yes. But, Tommy... I'm sorry, Lori. Ugh. Tommy, you jerk. Give me the keys. Oh. I 
I knew it wasn't cool to leave Lori there like that, but I couldn't let her see me all wolfed out. Besides, I knew Merton would be showing up any minute now. Who are you? Just try to... <clears throat> just try to relax. You are feeling sleepy. Oh. Oh. Loser. What was the girl doing there? I thought I told you to come alone. I'll ask all the questions. Who are you? <laughs> well, I'm just a fellow werewolf. And I've come a long way to recruit you. Join me in the syndicate. You're talking about the syndicate? Well, your fellow werewolf brethren, Tommy. There are many others like us. And we've had our eye on you for a long time. Why should I join you? Because we do whatever we want. And we eliminate anyone who stands in our way. You see, I have this thing. It's called a no evil policy. So I appreciate you coming out and all, but I'm happy as a lone wolf. Sorry you had to come all this way for nothing. That's too bad, Tommy. Because the syndicate is free to join, but the cost of not joining is high. What do you mean? Hello? Werewolf? Guy? And remember, Tommy? You really don't want to disappoint the syndicate. Hello? Did this guy say anything else about the syndicate? They, did he give you any uh, reading material? Booklets? Pamphlets? They're evil werewolves. Merton, not Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, why would they want to recruit you? You're clearly a gentle beast. Well, I mean, at least that werewolf got Lori off my track last night. I mean, now we're not gonna have to deal with any more of your stupid hypnotism plan. Stupid? That plan was ingenious. What happened to your arm? I kind of fell onto a foot. Tommy! I, I, I know why you're here, and, and you don't have to apologize again about last night. Apologize? She thought I was the wolf man. Oh, well, that's just crazy talk. Listen, Lori. Lori, listen. You made a mistake. And like I said last night, I forgive you. I can't believe you ditched me like that. I, just, I was trying to protect you. Protect me? You left me in the park, alone, in the middle of the night, handcuffed to a gazebo. You didn't feel protected? What? I was attacked by some kind of pervert freak and a leotard. Pervert freak seems a little harsh. Yeah, well, okay, that werewolf could have been dangerous. Dangerous? That werewolf saved my life twice. What have you ever done for me, Tommy? I'm gonna find him tonight, and you're not gonna stop me. Tommy Dawkins says he won't join us. He says he's a good werewolf and always will be. Well... We'll just have to change his outlook now, won't we? I need options. Write him a convincing letter detailing the pros and cons of... Uh, <laughs> or we could just beat him up. <sighs> a lot. <laughs> I sense something in this boy. He could be a great force of evil. But we must get him real soon. Dawkins will join us. He just needs the right incentive. <laughs> does he have any weaknesses, Brother Ambrose? He does have a weakness. A very pretty weakness. <laughs> Werewolf? You can come out. I know you're harmless. That's you again, you little freak. Bring it on. It's you. I've been looking for you everywhere. I've been looking for you, too. Beautiful Ms. Baxter. I didn't see her in history. Actually, I didn't see her in any of my classes. Yeah, me neither. I wonder where she is. Tommy, long time no see. I know you. It's me, the one who wanted you to join my little club. Russ Cochran from Eagle Scouts. You brought such a family move to Florida. Tommy, it's me. Is this the guy with the syndicate? 
My suitcase is a little less hairier than last night, but yes, it's here. Hi, Martin Dingle. I'm sort of a werewolf enthusiast. Tommy here tells me you're part of a nefarious group of werewolves. I'd love to ask you a few questions. I think I got all I needed. And I wet my pants. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Tommy, I don't think you've properly considered. Come to the cemetery tonight and just hear me out. You just don't take no for an answer, do you? Forget it. Glory would want you to come. What did you do with her? Nothing. Yet. She does look tasty, doesn't she? The cemetery, midnight, come alone. Okay, I'm here. Tommy, I knew you'd come. I'm not talking to you until I see Lori. You really care about people, don't you, Tommy? The syndicate will help you get rid of that annoying quality. This is between you and me. Let her go. Tommy, the ball's in your court. Either you join us or say goodbye to your girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> I am not his girlfriend. Well, I didn't know you were so against the idea. Well, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. It's just right now the word friend okay, sort of... Okay, people, let's remember why we're here. To sum up, either you come with me or say goodbye to the girl. Not gonna happen. I'll never join you. Then say goodbye to the girl. <laughs> Tommy, I was right. You really are the werewolf. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. I just wasn't sure how you react to all this. Why? I find this whole werewolf thing kind of hot. Hot? Hold that thought. There's still a lot you can learn about your powers, Tommy. The Syndicate can teach you. Join us. Never. <laughs> Last chance, Tommy. We have a great dental plan. Never. Too bad. Marty, <laughs> get out of here. He's dangerous. Tell me, can't you feel the dark power coursing through your veins? Come on, rip me limb from limb. It's what you were born to do. I knew you couldn't do it. You're too good. You're a pathetic excuse for a werewolf. Go on. Go home to your syndicate buddies. And don't even think of coming back. This is all far from over, Dawkins. I mean, evil werewolf person I've never met before. Lori, run! It's okay, Martin. She knows. Oh, well, great. You know, why don't we take out a public service announcement and let everyone know? I can't believe you're the Pleasantville werewolf. I mean, that totally rocks. So you're not going to give them up to some government lab? That's not such a bad idea. Local girl rescues evil werewolf? I could be famous, maybe even make some money. Please tell me she's kidding. Uh, uh, Lori. Relax, guys. Your secret's safe with me. On one condition. You let me in on all the fun you've been having. <laughs> and you call what we did tonight fun? <laughs> I'm a very complex girl. You'll learn. Think we can trust her? I think so. But I'm gonna keep a very close eye on her, just in case. <laughs> 
so my secret was out. To Lord, anyway. And I have to say, it felt pretty good letting someone else in on my hairy side. She was totally cool about my situation, and she wanted to know everything about being a werewolf. And of course, Merton was happy to tell her. And these, of course, are the razor sharp teeth used for the maiming and the dismembering. Hey! This looks familiar. Oh, oh this? Yeah. I, I found it in the park. I... It has your name sewn into the tag. Oh, that? Right. Um, well, you see, um. You are getting sleepy! You will forget everything about the black unitar! And as for the evil werewolf syndicate, after the butt-kicking Lori and I gave Ambrose, I don't think we'll be hearing from them for a very long time. Leader, I apologize. I underestimated him, but I know that with some reinforcements, I can get Tommy Dawkins. No, you won't. You have failed and brought shame on the syndicate. He's just a little cranky. I'm sure all this will be blown over by tomorrow. <laughs> Someday, he will join us. <laughs>